Welcome back to the Gamekeeper's Cottage Diaries. Welcome back to Gamekeeper's Cottage. It's the first week of February and this week we're going to be planting the new bare roots hedge in the back of the garden. So here we are at the stables at the moment. As you can see, we've got our box of bare root hedging plants, 100 plants in here. So I'm going to be getting those out later on and starting to plant them. Before we start with the actual planting, I'm going to give the border that I dug previously a quick fork over just to make the earth a bit easier to work with when we start the actual planting. So I'm going to crack on with that now. So after about 45 minutes worth of digging, I have forked over all of the border along the side fence here and this half of the bit where we're going to go across. I've left that area for the moment until last because there's still some work to be done digging out the old border and removing the old stone boundary. So I'll probably leave that to last with the remaining hedge, hedge plants. Now that we have our planting area dug over, I've started by marking out where we're going to plant. So we will be having two rows of hedging plants, 30 centimetres apart. So I have put two sets of lines in, 30 metres apart. The plants themselves will be being staggered 40 centimetres apart. So the next job for me is to put some further markers in to plant to show where each individual plant will go. So I'm going to crack on with that now. So what I've done now, if you can see, is I've put some additional pegs in, staggered every 40 centimetres along parts of the row these will be roughly where each of the plants is going to go. So now that we've prepared this area, it's time to actually get on and start preparing the plants themselves for planting. As you can probably hear, the wind has picked up a bit, so I'm currently taking refuge down here in a bit of shelter by the stables just to give you a bit of information about the plants we're going to be planting. So what we've got here is a hundred mixed native hedgerow plants of a hawthorn based pack. So it's basically 50% hawthorn and then 10% dog rose, field maple, hazel, black cherry and blackthorn. There's various online stores all selling very similar packs, mainly with the same type of plants. You can either get them hawthorn based or blackthorn based. I just went for the cheapest supplier to be honest and the one that could deliver on time. So now we know what we've got, we're going to start actually preparing the plants for the planting. 
So I've now removed the plants from their box and the plastic bag that they were in. And this is basically what you get when you're buying bare root plants. They're in a dormant state. So they are basically just sticks with roots on the end. And as you can see, they're batched up as the different plants. So we've got our field maple there, our hazel here, two sets of hawthorn, some blackthorn, some bird cherry, and then these larger ones at the end are the dog rose. So now we just have a little bit more preparation to do before we can start planting them. Before we actually plant the plants, we're going to do a couple of things to prepare them and give them the best chance of survival. So first off, I've got a bucket of rainwater here from our water butt, rather muddy looking, but it will do the job. And I'm going to soak the plants for about half an hour. So I'm going to do them in batches rather than trying to do the whole lot in one go. So I'm going to start off by grabbing one of each of the non hawthorn plants and just laying them into the bucket being very careful with the dog rose because they are rather spiky and then we'll also grab a few of the hawthorns I think I need about 10 plants for the first area I'm going to plant Take five of these, separate them out. So we'll leave those in there to soak, as I say. For about half an hour. The second thing we're going to do for the plants is we're going to use a product called Root Grow, which is a mycorrhizal fungi, which basically prom promotes root growth. So I'll be dipping each of the plants into this as I plant them. So first of all, we need to prepare the mixture. So behind here. I have got 10 litres, again, of water out of our water butt. And I'm now going to go through the process of actually mixing the root grow together. So the first stage is we've got this dipping gel, which I am going to add into the water. I'm then going to stir this well and leave it for about five minutes. It's now five minutes later and I'm gonna add the actual fungal powder into the solution and then stir it all up. See if you can do this one handed. Add all that in. And now the idea is to give it a good stir so that the powder is suspended throughout the gel mixture that you've ended up with. So I'll now stir that and then this should be ready to use. Okay, we're now back in the back garden and we've got our first set of plants ready to go in the ground. So there are our plants. We've got our root growth solution here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to dig a hole for the first plant. I've got no actual planting plan for where each plant is going to go. The only thing I am going to do is because we're going to have a gate at the end here, I'm going to assure that the non-thorny plants 
are closest to the gate, just to make it easier to get through. So I'll probably start off with a field maple and perhaps one of the elders just at the end, just to keep the thorns away. So let's crack on. So the first thing I'm going to do is to dig a hole for the first plant. So I'm going to plant each one of them in a square hole, roughly a spade width wide and deep enough to hold the roots. Let's start digging. plants you want to plant them to a level where the earth comes to just above the roots you don't want it on too much of the stem otherwise that will rot but you need to make sure that all of the roots are underneath so I've got my hole I've broken up the bottom a bit just to give the roots a chance to dig themselves in and now I'm going to dip the roots into the root grow Shake off the excess. Put it into the hole. Spread the roots out and start to put the earth back in that we took out. now going to do is just heal it in to firm it up around the plant. Again, I'll actually spread on the plant. a while later and we now have the first 10 of the hedge plants planted as you can see we're starting here going along this bit across the garden and then turning the corner and I'm just starting to plant along the fence We've now managed to plant 20 of the plants. So we're working along the side here. And as you can see, they're fairly randomly spaced out, but I'm trying to keep them as even as I can. So now I'm gonna crack on 
go and put another 10 pints in the water for half an hour. It's the end of day one of planting the new hedge and 40 plants are in, 60 are left to go. Today I have done all the way down the side fence here and where we started halfway across. Tomorrow I will be doing the remaining part across the side and all the way along the back fence. Good morning. It's day two of the hedge planting project. As you remember, yesterday we planted all down the side fence here. 40 plants in total. Today we're going to be starting off over on the back fence and working our way along Apologies for the helicopter, working our way along from this corner all the way along to there and then we will be finishing off by digging out this final area from where the gate is going to be up to the wall of the house. This all needs to be dug out properly because we haven't touched that and then planted. A quick update, it's about halfway through day two of the hedge planting and we are now working our way along the back fence as you can see. About to the third of the way so far and we've got about 30 plants left to go in this area. Good morning, it's day three of the hedge laying project and as you can possibly see the weather has taken a bit of a turn for the worst with a fair bit of rain this morning. So yesterday we managed to finish off all of the planting along the back edge of the garden. So you can see the plants all the way down here all that we have left of the project now is the small area here from the edge of the house out to where the gate will go so I'm going to be working on that today, although I probably won't be filming much due to the rain. But I need to just dig out some of the old plants and then start marking up where the new ones are going to go and get them into the ground. It's a couple of hours later and after some hard digging due to a lot of stones in some areas, the remaining 10 plants are now in the ground in this area running up to the wall of the house so now we have the full hedge in place all that remains now is to start mulching it which i'm going to be doing next Six hundred and fifty litres of bark chip mulch later, and as you can see, 
the entire hedge down the back of the garden and also up the side has now been mulched together with the bits that will go across to split the garden so that is the hedging project finished all that remains is for me to thank you for watching and to ask that if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and join us in the comments below to help the channel grow thank you and we'll see you next time